Okay, we have checked into the Royal Hawaiian and we're going into our room. Room 299. Room 299, I believe it's the historic room. With no view. With no view. <laughs> A massive size closet and safe. There's actually a couple places there's two things to throw your luggage on at least as opposed to the normal one. One bathrobe. Actually have to step up for the bathroom here. Yeah, nothing fancy. Slippers, but they don't even say Royal Hawaiian and they look like they've been used. And only one robe. Yeah, that's kind of weird. You could probably get another one though. Yeah, I'm that. sure. And you see there's a nice high ceiling it's definitely because it's older it's probably a good 15 15 feet high maybe so again nothing fancy but still cool nonetheless there's another room on the back of this door okay <laughs> That is the extent of the room tour. And addendum two. A little bit extra amenities. So you get a mending kit, which is like a sewing kit, a shower cap, a vanity kit, which is like two or um, Q-tips and stuff, body cream, which I'm assuming is just like lotion, but they actually give you toothbrushes as well, which is not common nowadays. And then it has a little baby toothpaste in it. And then you also have your normal shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, soap, you know. The one thing I do like is back here, I mean, they give you a lot of towels. Like a lot of places lately have only wanted to give you like two towels, you know, but here you have plenty and extra, which I like. And we got our luggage delivered. And one thing I did forget, obviously there's coffee maker and a little refridge. And they give us a complimentary banana nut muffin. Although I think the bakery here, she mentioned might've been closed, but at least to the regular, so. And I think that wraps things up. So kind of continuing with the overall Royal Hawaiian tour, we are again in the, uh, the original part of the building, which was made in 1927. So it's actually part of a historical site now, so they can only change just basic modern amenities and stuff but the overall thing of the hotel they cannot change and you can see the the doors are actually hand carved look which is pretty cool but because of that the rooms are maybe not the most uh efficiently designed as far as what we're used to nowadays as far as with the sink and toilet location but getting past that it's it's still pretty cool and you've got even a, a mail slot here, which is actually one of the few original things after World War II to remain. And you can actually still put your 
your mail down and it, and it drops down to the bottom and the post office picks up daily. This again is the mailbox where your letters and postcards drop down to. And again, this is one of the two remaining things after World War II. This and this map over here. When World War II happened, the military actually took over this building and pretty much gutted the rooms and used it for the service members. And pretty much nothing remained other than this and that mailbox. And supposedly they tried to take this, but they couldn't get it off the wall because I guess it was really glued on extremely well. So, so this is one of the remaining things. After the military or the war was done, then they had to refurbish everything, which took 18 million, they said, at that time. So. And you've got quite a few shops through here. This is just going to be a really quickie. partial walk through. Here, of course, is the beach. And this is also where they set up for uh, luau's as well. And over there is the, the Mai Tai bar, which is currently a hard seat to get right now at this current time. <laughs> They're actually 80% full and that's without the Japanese being here yet. So they are they are very busy. But this uh, this location is really good for the beach access. And you can rent these uh, Royal Hawaiians got their own little chairs here. You can rent for I believe current rate is $60 a day but again you got just great beach access here for Waikiki and the beach reclamation thing has already been done and completed where they put more sand back and next door is the sister hotel the Sheraton which you can share the one pool, the the all-age pool, which has a couple water slides, because the pool here is uh, nothing to write home about. So they do let you share one of the Sheraton pools, not the infinity pool, though.
And this hotel was originally, again, as I said, built in 1927, but it was actually because of a, the Matson kind of a cruise ship line at the time. They would, people would take cruises over here, but then they didn't want to stay on the ship after being at sea for that long. So Madsen decided to build a hotel for them to, to rest in during that time while they're here. And then this hat's how the Royal Hawaiian got built. And most of the rooms actually in the older, the original section, 70 to 80% actually face out towards the garden as opposed to facing the ocean. Because at that time, people didn't want to look at the sea. So everything faced towards the garden. The newer tower that they built in the 70s, every one of those rooms faces the ocean now. So if you do stay in the original section, just be aware you're not likely to get a beach view. And you can see how many of the rooms actually do face toward these garden areas, which again at that time was even more prevalent with uh, coconut trees. I think they were saying there was at least upwards of 800 coconut trees and the property is sitting on 14 acres, so. And they had different receptions and weddings out here as well. And beach access from the pool and as you can see the pool is pretty small so you definitely got a limited number of chairs and even out on the beach area depending on the, the amount of people you might not even be able to rent a chair although there's other chair rental things. The Tan Ones is another company and there's, they're uh, $60 a day as well, currently. $30 after 2 o'clock. And again, this is the original the original part of the building and this over here is the new the newer tower from built in the 70s that as you can see all those rooms faced out towards the ocean 
The lower floors do have uh, limited visibility though. So to the right is Sheraton. But this is where you would drive into the entrance. Nighttime, these are lit up with, with pink, of course, royal wine paint, which is an actual color that you can have mixed for yourself. It's an official color. Thank you. 